super excited about adding some things to the vineyard. I'm gonna definitely be adding lavender plants to the vineyard um, near the ends of the rows of the grapes. And that way it'll encourage um, uh, butterflies and bees to come pollinate them. And that will obviously produce uh, our grapes even better. Um, super excited about my old fashioned watering can that I just filled up that I'm about ready to dig holes for the lavender plants and be able to put those in the ground. Um, ground is pretty soft here because it's mostly decomposed granite. So it's actually super easy to work with even when it hasn't rained for a while and we don't have our drip on right now. We're not going to have our drip on until probably closer to uh, June. And that's what we were advised by the uh, vineyard owners around here that to uh, not water the plants and whoo, my hair, not water the plants until summertime. Make them struggle, make them pull from the earth, you know, and, and take them roots. I'm just loving the peach tree. It's coming alive. I'm so excited. Um, the berries are starting to show some, some um, little leaves on the plant. Let's see if I can see that. And then the pear tree is showing some life as well. Super excited about that. And all the berry bushes are starting to um, produce little leaves so we know that they're coming alive. So super excited about spring. We planted some um, African daisies in a lot of our a lot of our areas here just to kind of encourage um, butterflies and just beauty, you know, general beauty. So super excited about that. Um, looking forward to an awesome spring. Here's where I planted the lavender kind of next to the peach tree. So that'll provide um, something for the butterflies and bees and planted the other lavender over here. And by the way, these grapes are coming back. They're getting fuzzy. They're a little nursery here. Um, but here is the other lavender. And of course, roses are coming back like crazy. I think one of them is a white rose bush. And the other one is a coral, almost like a sunset color. And then all the ground cover that is like kind of taking over. I like it because it has purple flowers. But it is getting kind of shaggy and long. So we're going to definitely have to... <laughs> Use the weed eater to try to make that a little bit more trim and neat. And then there's the guzzler. We're going to have to start putting water in that for the birds and the quail. So yeah, King Family Vineyard's coming along. Oh, I forgot to show you my pine tree just a sec. So I'm looking at the apple tree. I'm seeing some change on it, little fuzzies. So we're hoping to see some apples. And there's some leaves on this apple tree. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. And then of course our pine tree that we took from our house in Bakersfield, it looks so awful because it was planted in a pot by the pool and it was on the concrete. And so the heat was just incredibly, incredibly bad. And so we're gonna hope to nurse this pine tree back to health that we planted next to these other pines that are different. This is a Norfolk Island pine. And it looks like our leaves are coming alive. Woohoo! Apple, ooh, look at that, beautiful. Oh my goodness apple blossoms <laughs> and this one's not that's the same one as the other end it doesn't have any blossoms yet so super excited though and things are looking green in bear valley so green super excited